Deep inside the jungles of STV on the server Ashbringer, there has been a gnome rogue terrorizing local lobbies for the last two months. It's ruined lives, it's ruined people's playtime. People are no longer logging into the game because of this gnome that has just destroyed the Horde community on Ashbringer. I have requested interviews from many of people and almost all have declined. He spends hours and hours a day in the depths of STV killing lobbies. And what can we do? His name is Minibang. Some of you may know the name, some of you may not. But this is his story. <sighs> Minibang wasn't always like this. There was a time he was just an ordinary guy. He was in a good guild. He had good gear. Then something happened. World chat. People like Prisoner, Chaos, RTZ. All those kind of guys just... I don't know what they did to him. But he's never been the same since. He was a great guy. He... Again, he was in one of the top 10 guilds on the server. And... What is it to say? He's someone we all aspire to be like. Prisoner and Chaos were all bullying the schizophrenic guy that would advertise his stream in world chat. They would all follow him around in game or at least on his stream trolling him, putting him into manic episodes. Would you say Wassy left the server because of Prisoner and Chaos's actions? It at least contributed to it. But uh, as far as mount reserving goes from Prisoner, you can stick your mount up your ass. I'm currently in a cave right now, partially because of Prisoner's actions towards mount reserving and then leading me to getting fucking banned from world chat and from the game just because I said, and I quote, I will steal your boyfriend, also known as RTZ. I will take him out to a five-star restaurant and not pay for it. I'm also partially hiding in this cave right now because I don't want to be ganked by minivan. Yeah, 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 like I said, it started out good. You could you could actually use it, you could find groups, and you can, like, it, it was fine. And then... Slowly, when you started playing more, you got into the late hours, like the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. All the fucking weeps started showing up, and there's people talking about hentai. And slowly, the, the meme guys started showing up. You got RTZ, you got the guy reserving mounts. I don't even have to name him. Everyone knows who he is. Then eventually, like, some dickheads got the, the admin of the owner, and they started banning people being toxic and everything so Mini was pissed because he, he couldn't do anything about it so he started flaming people in the guild chat at first it didn't really help so he he had to do something he started going stranglethorn and slowly killing everyone everyone he saw all the low levels all the high levels and he he, he went nuts like, he couldn't talk to him anymore, he was always showing as a flying so no one would whisper him. Just so he could go around killing people, taking out his anger. Like, he, he, he actually got issues now. Were we just fucking about in world chat like we normally do? We're just fucking about sharing shit like Xbox 360 and turn around. That's when we saw it. Prisoner was mount reserving and strat UD. Prisoner can go suck his nan. Who the fuck reserves mounts? Suddenly, in an unseen chain of events, Minibang went on a rampage. Travelling through STV, killing anything he saw. All because of one selfish man, Mount Reserving. No one was left standing. Everyone was slaughtered. No one could stop Minibang. Not even his girlfriend. It was just when he started participating on that world chat, it was getting more and more toxic and it was showing like the way he, he laughed and everything. I was witnessing that. At first it was okay because it wasn't me. <laughs> but then like I mean I I thought it was a game, like he did it once, twice, and then it started growing. So I started noticing 
and I told, why are you doing this? He didn't answer. He got pissed, I guess, and started ganking me. He ganked me 26 times. 10th time? I said, no, this isn't going well. I just quit him. I left. At a certain point, I was just like used to it. It was... It was natural, I guess. It was the experience, the PvP experience, as some may call it. I think the main problem was this entire environment for Ashbringer. The toxicity. I would be one to know. I've been called toxic in the past, I'll admit, but... You need to experience it yourself to understand. Hi, my name is Kurt Russell, and I've dedicated my life to the effects of Midiband ganking in STV after he ganked me 18 times. So I've got this graph here, and as you can see, as a Prisoner starts reserving mounts, uh, the number of people that Midiband ganks a day goes up significantly. And as this goes up, the number of Horde players on Ashbringer goes down, and to the point where there'll be no players left, and Midiband will be God. As you can see from this more detailed graph, whoever the fuck Meeple is and how much he throws a tantrum over a bad game goes up, that makes Prisoner reserve mounts, which then in turn makes Midibang gank people by the thousands because he's in a fucking frenzy right now. It makes good players go down from both sides and then we're left with nothing and Midibang has everything and <sighs> my wife has left me. So after several months of trying to track down Midibang, we really didn't have much luck. The man was eluding us. Um, and I feel he was just too busy ganking lobbies in strangle form. Because of this, we have decided to go into the jungle ourselves to find the man, to get his side of the story. Without his side of the story, we may never understand the truth behind the gankings. So, we've been in the jungle for a couple of days now looking for mini bang. We haven't really had much luck. The man's eluding us. There's not much we can do. I'm, I'm here with my assistant, Percy, who's had... Hello! Master has taken me into the jungle to find the gnome man. And the gnome man make me sad because he killed me. He killed me so many times. I hate the graveyard. I fucking hate struggle form. I don't want to be here. Mouse is paying me bare gold, so you gotta hustle, you know what I'm saying? Zug zug, motherfucker! So as I was saying, we basically can't find it. We're gonna bunk up for the night, get some sleep, and hopefully find him in the morning. So you just want to know what my story is? I'll tell you my story. Okay. There's this spurg in world chat called Prisoner. The guild Fidelis. Every person on Ashbringer hates Prisoner. And I despise him. And one day I was so mad, I was so frustrated by reserving Mount that I had to come to a jungle to change my mood. I needed good scenery. I arrived to Stranglethorn and I sit at the beach. Then I see a low level. He waved at me. First, I smiled at him, and voice inside me started talking. He told me that I needed to release my anger. Low level just looked so juicy, so thick. That was when my eyes turned red. I wasn't me anymore. I went into a rampage. I just saw a body in front of me. And I saw another low level. I killed him as well saw a third low level and I killed him as well. Another one and another one and another one. At one point I just started bringing all the bodies of the low levels to this house. I made a ritual every single night in hopes that one day, one day, prisoner would come to his senses and would stop reserving mounts. What god-given right does this man have to reserve mounts? Tell me! Someone answer me! Some would say that's just part of the game though. Oh really? You know what's also part of the game? Oh. Killing you. No, 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 no. Let's think this over, let's think this over. I, I have... I don't want to think. I don't no, no, want no, to no. think. No, 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 you need to think about it. Because this, this, this idea could change everything for you. What if you made a horde character, you made a shaman, you took its ass, 
to Black Rock Mountain. Wednesday, raid day. Fidelis in dreams, all buffed up. What if you reserved their buffs? Hey, that means I can get revenge on Fidelis? Yeah. And in dreams? It's a fantastic idea. I think it's time to contact someone special. Time to sign a contract with the devil. On the next episode of Minibang Terror of the Veil Purging no, 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 no. Angry Forum Posts Betrayal So he he's now indefinitely stuck in STV because of Minibang's accident. And like everyone here who has been ganked by many, they're also stuck. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. True. And, true, true. We, we yeah. all need to speak out against... Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, I know, we need to speak out. We need to do something. And no more reserved mounts. Get ready for Minibang, the purging. No buffs are safe. If you're dying, you are doing something wrong. You're fundamentally playing the game. I mean, it's not meant to be played. but these players are severely underleveled compared to Minibank. Then severely level up. <laughs> Master, I will finish the ritual. That's not what we do here. <laughs> Mini Percy, that's not what we do here. That is Minibank tactics. We do not do that here. Yo, give me a sec. I've just got to go downstairs and explain to my dad one. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to purge lobbies until... Low level fucking horde bitches are going to get the dick. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's a level 30 mate somewhere around here. I'm going to go mark controller. I know, you're, I know you're fed up. All right. Let me see how you fucking like it. Fuck me, guys! <laughs> <laughs> That was perfect. <laughs>